Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Zani and this is my channel Zani B. Davis where I speak all about pregnancy, birthing, and motherhood, and I speak a lot about hypnobirthing. But today, I'm going to be a bit different. I'm speaking about birthing, but I wanted to share something with you guys that I shared on my blog this week, and I was basically speaking about how women, um, especially mothers, are the true super humans right so be superheroes my lord i was like superhumans because yes they're men but we are superhumans us mothers women in general but mothers as especially and so obviously um we've just celebrated international women's day and mother's day is coming up very soon and i thought it's only fitting for me to share about how us as women we can um be so determined and so persevering so persistent and all the amazing words that you could think about in a dictionary is a mother and i shared about my own journey with my own mom and I remember you know um, as a child and I grew up and I see the kind of things that my mom was doing for her family for us right so it's three of us I'm the eldest of three girls we're all five years apart and my mom was a full-time teacher she still is and she has a husband which is my dad that she was doing um, everything for my dad is one of these men that um, bless him we love him to bits but he doesn't do any housework he might cook his little bit of fish broth every now and again but he doesn't do any cooking he doesn't do laundry he doesn't do house cleaning or anything so that was all my mom's job um so she was taking care of us she was taking care of the finances my dad would just come and she'd take him the finances paying the bills and all of these things he would just give her the money and she'd deal with it and she was doing absolutely everything and yet she was still find time to have fun with her friends my mom loves life and she still does and still she'll have like on a weekend she'll you know go out to the friends for a drink or pizza or whatever they want to do and have a bite to eat and then on sunday we all be going to church because my mom is a a christian right so like every sunday without fail we'll be at church and you know we still find time to go bible study and everything during the week so i was like my mom oh my gosh i don't know how she does it and i remember when i was a young adult like you know i wasn't married just yet i was probably a university at the time and i remember just saying to her like one day i was home and i was like i'm so bored like mom do you do you not get bored you know as teenagers and young people like we always have to be doing stuff and i just didn't want to watch tv and i didn't want to go out whatever i was like i'm so bored and she was like do you see the things that I do when do I have time to get bored and I was like to her I said oh my gosh that is so true like you're always going you have so much doing when she's not preparing um, teaching plans for school on a Sunday you know she goes to school and she teaches during the week she comes home she has to take care of us cook dinner and you know it's just so amazing on a Sunday she just never stops she just keeps going but yet she just have this spunk for life she just enjoys life and she just knows how to have fun and I thought you know what my mom is a superhuman and that is exactly what i sh want to share with you guys today like the power of us women and what we can achieve if we w honestly want it and if we put our mind to it and so i want to share with you three um this obviously is going to be pertaining to hypnobirthing but I want to put it in general as well because over on the blog I spoke about um, three ways in which um, how women can become superhumans um, through using hypnobirthing. But I want to even go wider and just speak about our resilience and our perseverance, right? Where we have a dream, where we have a goal. And so the first thing I want to say to you, ladies, like, do not be afraid to dream um, big things and the things that you want for your life. Don't be scared of your goals and your dreams and your desires because you know what? you deserve it just as much as anybody else and i think the first thing of you know becoming a superhuman in your life and being able to achieve the things that you want and living the life that you want is actually seeing yourself actually being able to do the things that you want to do so let's say for example you want to get pregnant or you want to be a mom right you actually have to see yourself being that mom let's say you want to travel more or let's say you want to get married you actually have to see yourself in that role or doing those things before you can even start taking actions towards it right and i think that's a big big deal for a lot a lot of women like we have these goals and these dreams and then we are like oh my gosh that's way over my head that's so not possible for me i can't do this and therefore we do nothing towards these goals and these dreams and so this is what i want to say to you like 
you have to see that it's possible for you and know that i know you know as a christian god says everything is possible for you right through me and that's the same thing i want to say to you guys like whatever goals and dreams that you have it is possible for you why not you right why would it be possible for everybody else and not you it starts with a dream and it starts with a goal even for myself i could say that because i remember as a child growing up i always dream of having that uh, husband and my baby and having this wonderful life and now i'm actually living this life with my spouse and my husband whom i love so much and our little daughter i knew it was possible for me and i'm actually living it i was like of course i'm living it because i knew that that's what i wanted even like when i think about my travel like i always wanted to travel and i wanted to see the world and i've seen over 27 different countries so far i've lived in three different countries and that's all because i saw myself doing these things i dare to dream it and believe it and so i took action towards it every single day let's say for example you're trying to get pregnant right and we all know like let's say for example my husband and i will be married for five years before we started trying for zena four and a half five years before we started trying for for zena that's my daughter's name and um we tried for over a year before we gave birth but even when it didn't look possible like things weren't happening i still believed it because i knew that my future had a little um, a little baby in our future we had children and our family was expanding like that is possible for me and so you've got to take action so our action of course was making sure that we were doing the do and making sure that we were trying and trying and trying and not just giving up right and it's the same thing with every dream and every goal and desire that you have let's say for example you're scared about giving birth and that's why we use hypnobirthing right you've got to do the practice so i saw myself i envisioned myself having this wonderful birth experience i see myself having and giving birth Birth in a wonderful experience my baby being so calm and so relaxed during um her entrance into the world and that's exactly what happened like i gave birth in um within three hours and i was and i did it naturally right just because i envisioned that and i knew it was possible for me so therefore i took the steps i took i practiced i made sure i did my hypnobirthing scripts i did my affirmations every single night i was listening to um the visualizations i was doing my self-hypnosis i just did the work every single day because i knew the outcome that i desired so this video just basically is just to share with you how as um how to really be that superhuman that we know that we are capable of you know what i mean like nobody could ever show me a man who have ever done something absolutely amazing like like us women do we work full time we raise kids on our own we take care of husbands we do businesses on the side like seriously we can do anything we put our mind to i've never seen a man yet who worked full time took care of his family took care of his wife and you know do all of these things like maybe be one or two probably one out of five men maybe there are really good ones out there but most women we just crack on with it right many times we're disadvantaged we're like in poverty stricken areas we know that like there's so many women and mothers who are like poverty stricken areas who are abandoned by their partners with kids and they're just struggling from day to day but guess what they never gave up they never gave up and that's what that's the quality of a, of a true superhuman right so the first thing i want to just remind you guys is just to dare to dream and believe that the dream is possible for you so whatever you think is way outside of your um your realm of um existence or your realm of achieving i want to remind you that if it can happen for somebody else it can totally happen for you i want you to go out and look for role models who are living the life that you want and see that it's possible you can read so many of their stories like where they've come from and many of these women they came from nothing they build themselves up every single day and they did not give up persistence and perseverance and it started with them being able to imagine and fantasize about this life that they wanted and taking the actions every single day so you know what i mean in hip the birth i love the fact that we are visualizing we're using affirmations which is all these things like we're seeing the projected um, outcome that we want that's what we're doing in hip the birthing right and that's what we want to do in life in general we want to be able to see ourselves in that future um goal and that future dream and that future life and know that it is possible for us and i love the fact that we could use hip the birthing techniques every single day throughout of all throughout our lives and be able to get outcomes and goals and desires and dreams regardless of where we are right now in our lives it all starts with implanting it and being able to see it and believe it that is possible for us so if you want to read more about the blog um, i put the link in the bottom here you could read more on the blog about how i uh, brought, brought it together with the three hypnobirthing techniques that we use 
but I will just run through it very quickly. So the first one, of course, is um, just being able to face your fears and knowing that you can overcome your fears. And so obviously you, in hypnobirthing, we make sure we put down all of our fears that we have concerning our pregnancy, motherhood, birthing and everything else. Because once you put it there and you face those fears, then you're able to tackle them and you'll be able to overcome them because then you know exactly what they are. And so just in life as well, like if you have a goal to do something to travel more, for example, you've got to face the fear. You've got to be like, well, I'm scared that I would never have enough money or I'm scared that I wouldn't have enough time. You know, face those fears out. And then you can actually, uh, when you write them out and you put them out there, you can actually see, well, wait a minute, I could actually make time to do this. Wait a minute, I could actually start putting a savings account together, start putting a penny a day or a dollar a week or whatever towards a dream travel trip or something, right? It's just the same kind of mindset. It's just facing those fears and being able to overcome them. So that was point number one. Um, point number two as well I was using is um, in natal hypnotherapy, something that I teach is like post-hypnotic suggestions. So it's basically saying that when something happens, then then this will happen. So it's like you are already imagining your outcome and you're seeing how you're going to get there. So let's say, for example, you want to, I want to have a wonderful birthing experience and I want it to be um, natural and I want it to be short labor, right? That's my outcome. So therefore, I'm going to say, well, when my labor starts, I'm going to be totally relaxed, right? Or when my waters break, I'm going to be so excited. So it's like saying, what are you going to be doing when that outcome happens? And so we can bring this back in life, right? Let's say you're a mother and like you're a wife or a woman in general, like, you know, you're going through your everyday life and you're like, well, when I um, get paid at the end of the month, I'm going to put some money aside. I'm going to put like $200 aside in this bank account so that I can travel to Greece in summer. So you're just going to put that into that new frame of mind and you're actually going to take the actions, of course, but you put it into that frame of mind and you're reminding yourself every single day that when something happens, then you're going to do this, right? And you have that big goal and that dream in your mind. So this is something that we practice during hypnobirthing specifically to your birthing, uh, maybe your pregnancy and even as a new mom, right? Some of the things that you want to overcome as well, we can work on that. And the final one that I really wanted to stress is being able to um, ask for and accept help, okay? Many times we go through life and we think that we're on this journey on our own and we, we are um, scared to ask for help or some of us are so full of pride that we don't want to accept help and that is not possible. Like no man is an island, okay? Every single person that you see out there who are living their dreams, who are living these big goals and dreams in their lives, they have had help in some form or another. And especially as a mother, you've got to be able to accept help so that you can find time for yourself. Yes, it is that you're doing everything everything but you're also asking for help so maybe you'll be like you know hubby why don't you um, pick up the kids from school so I can go home and start dinner or why don't uh, my mom help me out by um, you know, watch the kids while I do some grocery shopping or take an hour for myself you know you've just got to be able to accept help when it comes because I'm telling you you guys know I speak so much about self-care it is so important to make sure that you're filling yourself up before you pour it into others so that's what I really wanted to share with you and I want to bring it all together by just reminding you that you need to be able to see yourself having that goal or having a dream and knowing that it is absolutely possible for you right now right so when you know that you're going to be taking actions every single day and actions could just simply be like you know reaching out to people um putting as i said before putting a few dollars away every every day right it's just basically just doing the things that you need to do every single day consistently to get to where you want to be in your life because hey women we are superhumans and you can absolutely and totally do it okay that's all i wanted to share with you in this video today if you love this video please leave a like and a comment below let me know if um you know it agrees with you and if it's something that you resonates with if you have any topics or um any particular thing that you want me to share here um on this on this channel just let me know and i'll be i'll be really happy to help you out in whatever way that i can so and of course if you have any questions or any comments definitely leave it at the bottom and of course share this video with other women who you think it would be able to help as well i also have a facebook group um you can actually send me a message and i can get you into my facebook group where you can speak even more openly where we can chat where we can be inspired and over there 
where I definitely share some even more golden nuggets okay and of course you have my blog and you can go over to where I blog every single week about different topics of course specifically pregnancy birthing and motherhood but even so much more about life in general okay so I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will speak with you guys soon so check back next week for our next video and as I said before let me know what you guys want to hear about okay take care bye